Hey, good morning. What's poppin'? It's your boy, Jay the Comedian. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing great today. I come to you from the past of yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I'm headed home now. And I'm like, you know what? This would be a good time to make tomorrow's video because I already have it in mind. So, yeah. How y'all doing? Hey. So, anyway. Today, I want to talk to you because a lot of people come to me as they do a lot of ex-Jehovah Witnesses and they ask them, what can I say to free my family? What can I tell somebody that'll get them to leave this, this horrible organization? What can I say? And well, today is me explaining that, okay? Because if you ask any ex-JW, they're gonna give you a different answer. But each answer is gonna always probably end up being, it's nothing you can really say to somebody to get them to leave the organization. That's not really even a possibility because that's not how it works. Somebody has to already have an opening or a chink in their armor for the message to get through. Because the Jehovah Witnesses, they do something to people that I've never really seen done before. As far as with their brain of brain, their brain, their brand of brainwashing. It's not like anything I've ever seen or experienced. Because not only do they get people to do as they're told and to not listen to other people, they also have an additional security system, whereas the people who are, if, they, if a message do get through to them, they don't want it to be right. They don't, they, they, they will refuse to believe anything you say. No matter how logical it is, no matter how much sense it makes, it doesn't matter. They don't want it to be right. You know what I'm saying? That's what the Jehovah Witnesses do. And so I sat down and I thought about it. Like, how do they do that? What do they do to get people to buy in like that? And when I thought about it, I came up with this. The day you say you want to join the Jehovah Witnesses, even if you don't say you want to join, if the day you start to associate with the Jehovah Witnesses, you're investing into the Jehovah Witnesses. Let me explain. Every time you meet somebody and they're super cool, but instead of hanging out with them, you decide not to because they're not a witness, you're investing into the Jehovah Witnesses. Every single time you go out of field service, instead of doing something for yourself and doing something nice for yourself, you're investing into the organization. Every single time you don't celebrate your birthday, you don't celebrate Christmas, you don't do certain things that a lot of other people get to do and enjoy, you're investing into the organization. And that's what they, that's what they do. That's how it works. You invest, you invest, you invest your time, your energy, opportunities, your youth, fun, time, blood, sweat, and tears, everything gets invested into the organization. And the more you invest, the deeper you're in the organization. Because this is the thing. Have you ever had an argument about a subject you're not invested in? You know? Michael Jordan's better than LeBron. No, LeBron's better than Michael Jordan. No matter what the answer is, the real answer, I'm not invested. <laughs> Either way it go, right or wrong, my life is not going to be affected because I am not invested, right? But let's say, oh, tonight I'm going to say LeBron James is going to score more points than Kyrie Irving. And I'm going to prove it and back it up by putting $100,000 on LeBron James to score more points than Kyrie Irving. When Kyrie Irving scores more points than LeBron, you're going to go through several stages of, <laughs> of straight up depression. You just lost 100K. You are hurt. It is not easy to go over because you have invested into it. And that's what people are doing with the organization. They invest their time, energy, youth, money, heart, sweat, and tears, everything into this organization. So after a certain point, you can't just walk up to them and tell them one thing and get them to say, oh, really? 
Oh, well, I guess I just wasted 30 years of my life. <laughs> anyway, I'm going with you guys now. No, it doesn't work that way. There's not a specific thing you could say to anybody that's going to get them to change. And there's some people who've invested so much that you don't even want them to wake up, you know? Because at the end of the day, the reason people do not even want to be wrong and cannot accept being wrong is because there's a conversation that you need to have with yourself that most people will do anything to avoid. And not only do they want to avoid that conversation, the Jehovah Witness organization give them something else to grab onto. Because that's the thing, when you're wrong about something and you just can't be wrong, no matter what, you just refuse to be wrong, as long as there's something else to grab onto and hold on to, you'll hold on to that no matter how crazy it is. That's why you can sit up and tell people, oh, there's an overlapping generation. And that's why even though as ridiculous as it is, people will hold on to it. Oh, it's an overlapping generation. That's why the world hasn't ended yet. Because they don't want to have the conversation that's necessary if they're wrong. Can you imagine a parent that let their kid perish on the doctor's operating room table because they refused to give them blood? Do you know what that conversation looks like when they look in the mirror and they find out that this organization is wrong? Do you know what that conversation looks like? To have to look in the mirror and realize you let your kid perish and be a martyr for the Watchtower Track Society, a publishing company. I don't know anybody who's willing to look in the mirror and have that conversation with themselves. I'd be hard pressed to even tell somebody to, to get out their organization if they've already, if they made that type of investment. Once you've invested so much into this organization, once they've gotten you to invest so much, you don't even want to be wrong. You can't accept being wrong and you will fight being wrong. And that's where a lot of these Jehovah's Witnesses are at. And the longer they're in it, the more they invest. I talked to my sister the other day and she said this year she's going to have to put in 840 hours because she's pioneering. And that's how many hours they're looking for for pioneers. 840 hours. After you've done that, how can you listen to somebody tell you what you've done was a waste of your time? You understand me? You can't accept that. You won't accept that. You're not about to look in the mirror and have that conversation with yourself. You'd rather cling on to whatever meat they got dangling in front of you or whatever bar they got dangling in front of you. You'll hold on to that rather than having to look in the mirror and have that conversation that this entire time they wasted your entire life. This is not a conversation people are trying to have with themselves. I wasn't a good Jehovah Witness and I ain't want to have that conversation with myself. I banged chicks all the time. Smoked, drank, did everything. <laughs> and I was still like, man, but all the other time, I still invested a lot into this organization. I would have went to college. I would have gotten a better job. I would have did a lot of other different things had I not been a part of this organization. I invested into it too. If you're in it, you're invested. That's how they get people. And that's why it's almost impossible to awaken somebody with just mere words. There's not one thing you can go up to say to somebody. There's not one piece of information you can show somebody. It's, it's just not. The only way you can wake somebody up is if they somehow find a way to wake themselves up a little bit. A little bit. Because once they question that one thing, that first thing, and they're willing to accept an answer, that's the thing. They first have to be able to accept an answer. Because the Jehovah's Witness is going to give you every reason in the world not to accept it. You want to get destroyed by God? You want to you wanna turn away from your family and friends? Look, they're liars. They're all liars. Why would you even believe them? 
They'll give you every reason in the world, every opportunity to hold on to your investment. You've been doing this for so long. Do you really want to turn away now? The end is right here. Every single reason in the world to hold on to your investment. <laughs> you know what I mean? XJWs, we know, man. We've waking up. We realize that we've been taken advantage of. And we wiped our hands clean of it. Oh, well. Can't win them all, you know? But going forward, we're there for anybody who has a question. We're there for anybody who's willing to accept the truth about the truth. You know what I mean? Because the answers are out there. That's not the problem. The problem has never been the correct answers. The problem is and has always been accepting the correct answers. Oh, man. You invest so much. You invest so much. Look at what they do. They get you to invest all the time. Oh, you have a great job. Your job's great. You enjoy it. This is the most money you've been ever making in your entire life. Your family is happy. Everybody's good. Really? Quit your job and go out of field service more. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, wow. That girl is beautiful. Oh, she's so gorgeous. Wow. You love her, huh? She's the sweetest girl you ever met. Really? She is? Is she a sister? She's not. Break up with her and find a sister. <laughs> they get you to invest. It don't sound like an investment, but it is. Every sacrifice you make for that religion is an investment. And at the end of the day, finding out it's just a cult, That's not a conversation a lot of people are trying to have with themselves. And I understand 1,000%, you know? But we woke, baby. I've had that conversation with myself, and oh my God, I feel so much better now. The truth has set me free. <laughs> and it'll set you free if you got any questions. You know what's kind of meaning? Anyway, I wasn't funny today. So what? My face is always funny. <laughs> I hope y'all have a great day, man. And if you ain't woke, I'll help you get woke. You're not know, kind of meanie. Ask me a question. Holla at your guala. Deuces. <laughs>